if I calibrate a gauge at ambient, and let's just for argument say, say ambient is 70 degrees. So I calibrate it at ambient, I'm within 1%, we're good to go. Now I'm up to 200 degrees. Am I going to get the same reading? No. So what they do is they say general rule of thumb is for every 70 degrees away from ambient, the calibration point, you can lose a percent. So that's why they say, okay, plus or minus a percent you might live with. Once you go over that, you then have to compensate. You've got to cool it down. You've got to somehow cool the process down going into the gauge. So what, how can you do it? The easiest, there's all kinds of ways, and we'll talk about some. But the easiest way to cool down a gauge is off piping. And what I mean by that is, here's your pipe, you got your hot liquid air, whatever it is, your gauge is sitting on top like this. Well, that's going to see the full force of the heat. If you move it six inches to a foot to the right, what happens to the process? You lose your thermal extension. Yeah, well, it dead ends, right? Now your heat's flowing this way, the stuff in the middle becomes a barrier. And that starts to cool down. How much it cools down depends on your ambient conditions and all that kind of thing. So you can easily drop several hundred degrees or more just by moving it off the right. Nothing fancy. Now, in some applications they can't do that, so you have to come in with some other things, which we'll talk about. The other issue is I've actually had an OEM that makes boilers call me up and he says, Joe, I want gauges that are accurate at 210 <coughs> degrees. All stainless steel, glass lens, so it'll handle the ambient temperature. What do I need to do to that gauge to provide what he asked for? Insulate? No, I have to calibrate it when it's 210 degrees. You know, so in other words, special requirements are needed. We, and now, when he gets it, if he doesn't run his, uh, his boiler up to 210, it's not going to be accurate, right? If he's sitting there at just air, it's going to be off a little bit. So that's the point. There are things you can do, but you got to know what you don't know up front, and then take the steps, and of course you quote it appropriately and all that kind of stuff. So, temperature is an issue. As long as you're 140 below, no big deal. Once you start getting above that, they need to take into consideration the effect of the temperature. 